Still going to be hit or miss variety, but just in case you don't want to be caught in the rain without a poncho or some sort of rain gear. So we've got the tropical moisture coming in our direction from Raphael. Raphael, of course, not coming here, staying to our south. With the moisture and a front working in from the west, we're going to see those showers and storms here for us tomorrow because it's going to slowly move to the east. Right now, it's positioned off to our west now, giving some heavier rain in northern Louisiana and in Arkansas, but some heavier showers are coming our way tomorrow. Raphael is a tropical storm in the central Gulf. It's going to continue to meander off to the south and just stay away from us and get destroyed by dry air and strong wind shear in the coming days. The dry air and the shear definitely our friend and the shear is going to help pull that moisture though in our direction and it's not going to be out of our hair until Tuesday. So that's why Monday for Veterans Day there will be a couple showers around. Tomorrow, weather impact alert day for those heavier showers. Also, with the onshore winds, we're going to stay breezy with east winds expected. We'll see minor coastal flooding this weekend as well. Need the umbrellas and the rain gear? Download our app, check the forecast to make sure you know where the showers are happening. Today, hit or miss rain in the afternoon. Heavier stuff off to the west, more towards Lafayette, even west of Baton Rouge today. But then late tonight and overnight, this is around 3 in the morning, some heavier rain will continue to push eastward in our area. The north and south shore will see some scattered heavier showers tomorrow in the morning. Some thunderstorms as well. They'll be continuing into the afternoon hours tomorrow. And then tomorrow evening, things do look to wind down. But then Monday, planning just for a couple isolated showers. Rainfall totals can vary quite a bit, anywhere from a half an inch to maybe an inch and a half, maybe even up to two inches farther west. So some heavier showers, some localized street flooding is possible, but it's not going to be a big issue everywhere. Just very isolated cases of street flooding possible, especially tomorrow. Also with the winds associated with Raphael, going to be a little bit breezy. Not bad though, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds, pretty similar to what we've been dealing with the last couple of days. A little breeze here and there, actually not bad. Gusts up to 20, 25 miles per hour, but winds will be subsiding by later tomorrow night. So that's it, just really more of the same. And the minor coastal flooding will also continue this weekend into early Monday. The high tides will be happening in the early morning hours. So eastward facing shorelines, eastward facing shorelines rather, can deal with one to two feet above normal high tide. 